Yo, what's going on everybody? Chokai Gaming here, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be teaching you how to install content into Rigs of Rods. Now when I say content, I'm talking about maps, buses, cars, trucks, planes, and boats, whatever you can get in the game, I'm going to teach you how to install it. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright, so the first method I'm going to be teaching you today is the in-game repository method. Now this is the easiest way to get mods, and all of these mods you can use on multiplayer as well, and I'll get more into that in a later video. But anyways, if you go to the main menu, you'll see this repository button. Go ahead and click that, and it will take a minute to load. But once it is loaded, you will have tons and tons of content here to choose from. Now go ahead, find something that you like. There is uh, all sorts of filters, trucks, and heavy equipment, cars and light vehicles, trailers and loads, air and sea, trains, terrains and static objects. This will be your maps, character skins, which there are none of at this time, vehicle skins, add-ons, and legacy content, and you've got a search bar up here, so if you're looking for a specific content piece in particular, there you go, and if you could sort by, let's see, last update, day added, title, downloads, rating, and rating count, and then you've got different views where you can view stuff, you know, I personally like the list view, it's the default view, and I really like it, so go ahead, like I said, find something that you like, and uh, I will teach you how to install it. So let's say, for example, I want this DAF 95XF, I'd hover my cursor over it and click on it, and then the install button right here, you just click on that, boom. It's already downloaded, and if I click escape, it will finish installing it. And just like that, I have that vehicle in my game. It's that simple. Now that method is for very beginners. If you're just new to Rigs of Rods and you're just getting into, you know, wanting to install content, that's the way I recommend you do it for now. For those who want to install third-party mods or maybe want a bit of a challenge installing their mods, I got you. Now if you're installing third-party mods, you do have to be very, very careful. You gotta be careful where you download stuff from, and if people send you stuff, you gotta trust them that they're not gonna give you a virus or anything. Please note, I am not responsible if you get a virus. Do not come to me saying that I got a virus, it's all Chilcat's fault, he told me to do this. No, be careful out there. But if you want something that is guaranteed not to give you a virus, you can go the official route. Go to rigsofrods.org. Um, this is the official Rigs of Rods website. It should be where you downloaded Rigs of Rods as well. Go ahead, go to the community tab, and then go to the repository. And another thing about these mods, by the way, these can be used in multiplayer. Now, when I do the multiplayer tutorial, I'll get more into that, but um, do keep that in mind that you cannot use other third-party mods that are not from this website or the in-game repository in multiplayer. But anyways, browse away, find whatever mod you want. Uh, like I said, just be careful. Now, in today's tutorial, we are going to be installing Jason's second and third generation Bluebird Visions. So we're gonna go ahead and click the download button and it has begun downloading, and there it is. Let's go ahead and let's open File Explorer and let's get into it. All right, so once you are in File Explorer, go ahead and find your downloads folder, and in there you should see your pack, JSON, VH Charger, Bluebird Vision Pack. Go ahead and select it, hit Control C or right click and then copy, and then you're gonna wanna go to the following directory. Documents, My Games, Rigs of Rods, Mods, and then either control V or right click and paste it in there. And boom, it is in there. You can go ahead and close File Explorer and get into the game. And once you are in the game, you can go ahead, go to the menu up top, get new vehicle, and then you can select the drop down, go to fresh vehicles, and there you will see your newly installed mod. You can see this is the one, the pack that we installed from the in-game repository, and these two are the ones that we installed from the ROR website. So there you go. That is how you install mods in Rigs of Rods. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do drop those in the comment section below. As always, please leave a like on the video. You can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's always a link to our channel Discord server where you can hang out with me and other people from the community in the description below. With that being said, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.